It's a rather brisk morning. We are heading up to Kiki as usual. Uh, very quiet, a few springboks so far. But maybe as the sun hits, uh, animals will start moving into the riverbed. Not many noises last night, uh, lots of jackals this morning, but we didn't hear any lions um, at all, which is unusual. So they've obviously, either they were just being quiet or they've uh, moved, moved away from where we're staying. Yeah, off we go. Been a very slow morning the slowest yet i would say uh, nothing but a couple of springbuck one tawny eagle and now we're heading down it's late already the two darters in the top of a tree which is very very strange darters are water birds we're in the middle of the kalahari um I don't know what's going on. They lost. They they lost, or and they look quite happy. They're just chilling up on top of this tree. I don't even know if they occur. I'm gonna I have to check my bird book. That's the African darter there. See, they like swimming in water and catching fish. That's their whole thing. Um, if we look at its distribution, it doesn't occur anywhere near here. So this is a very rare sighting, not a rare bird, but they just don't occur here. Oh. Um, so that's fascinating. Andy, what's your opinion? It's almost as good as finding a caracal. Almost. Okay, slow morning drive. Uh, we did see a lion in the end that was pointed out to us way on top of a dune lying down. So coming back to camp now. Oh, incredible water birds though this morning. So that was something. Um, coming back to camp, we're going to have to pack everything up nicely, hitch up the trailer and head to Tuirafiran. It's going to be sad to leave our, our little spot here. It's time to tidy up the tent. Show us inside. No, thank you. Show us Show us how, how you keep your your side of the tent. People need to know the truth about you, Andy. It's, it's not the truth. It's just, it was something I needed to do. Really? <laughs> He's trying to quickly make his side of the tent look look neat. It, it was a big be. mess. Look at this. It's no, a big mess. There's a reason. There's a mess. There was a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, my side, look at this. Organization. Fancy <laughs> hangy bag. Andy side, nah. disastrous. Nah, there's a reason, guys. He's a liar. Rob, can you speed it up with the coffee, please? <laughs> I this, I want, I do want to say um, that this jet boil has been the best purchase ever. 
I think he says that on every trip. I probably do, but it is so fast. And being able to boil water in a minute doesn't seem amazing, but in actual fact, it is amazing. Makes life like you just jump out the car, next thing you've got coffee. That's wonderful. In the morning, we don't need to. Sometimes we do heat a thermos just to save a few minutes, but even if you don't heat a thermos, just hot water coffee already. You want some coffee, Andy? I do. If you had an, a choice between your wife or coffee, which one would oh, it be? Don't make me make that choice. <laughs> don't make me make that choice, Andy. Um, well, I, I don't know if I life would be worth living I without. Think that says it all. Yeah. Ren, you listen, listening to this, huh? Gonna have to Bad husband. Out. Tired? No, no. No, you're, you're fine. You're, you're the one sweating, bro. <laughs> I am. <laughs> so we uh, packed up camp. It took about an hour, hey? No, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. About an hour, and we did a good job. We cleaned the tent. We because we are not camping again this trip, so we decided to pack the the trailer away nicely. Cleaned the tent, took out all the sheets and uh, duvets and things, and yeah, Andy washed the dishes uh, as as is as is his way. And as he finished washing the dishes, the water, the trailer water ran out. So that was perfect. We're not pulling any extra weight now. And now we are on our way to Tuirafir and to luxury chalet. Oh yeah. Luxury, well luxury for what we are used to. Rather pedestrian in terms of, in the, in the greater scheme of things. All right, bye bye. Ciao. Wait. What do you think, Andy? I have star. Have a look here. Wow. Oh, goodness. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah. We can invite friends around. Let's have a look here. A tap. There's a bathroom. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's got separate. There's a shower. Very nice. And. Toilet. Toilet with a little. With a flushy thing. What do you think, Andy? Are you happy? So, we're back in Tuirafira and we just checked the sightings board and two caracals were seen on the little stretch on the little stretch of road that we've been driving for the past 10 days. So, now I don't know what to say. I've, I mean, it's in, in a way, it's a, it's a, it, it justifies uh, the fact that we were sitting there. I was worried there were no caracals at all. But it's a bit of a shame that we didn't see them and other people did. <laughs> Anyhow, we'll still go, we'll go out this afternoon, but we can't stay out late um, because we have to be back in camp by 6.30, right? And we're quite far away here. Oh well, next time. But this is our view, very nice. We're back at Tuirafira and we've got to be back inside the gate by 6.30 which uh, means we got once once it starts getting late we got to ride drive at the speed limit and sit in a cloud of dust behind a bunch of other people driving at the speed limit such is life hey Andy Driving 
in the dust. Will Racing. we make it? Will we make it? Racing for the gate. Currently our uh, arrival time is 6.32 and the gates we meant to be in by 6.30, two minutes late. Naughty Andy. It was, it was uh, because Andy was driving so slowly. I told him he wasn't allowed to go over 20 k's an hour. No, 15. 15. And now, now we're late. But at least we don't have to speed. We're only going 44. And oh, our arrival time just went down to 631. Ooh. Stop. Lots of dust. 